Hi everybody, I wanted to make this video just to update you on what's happening in the life of Ian Ward with regards to my cancer. So as if some of you are aware, October I was diagnosed with stage 3 B lung cancer, non-small cell lung cancer by the state hospital. Uh, we had a lot of questions that needed to be answered so we went backwards and forwards and asked a lot of questions to the state hospital. And in the same time, Candace set up the Backer Buddy Fund and a lot of you went and donated your hard-earned money and I really, really just want to say thank you so much because what I'm about to explain to you is what happened with your money. So we had a lot of questions and they couldn't be answered. Some of the questions we were asking was, um, was this lung cancer primary cancer or was it a repeat of my colon cancer, uh, which is hemostatic um, cancer? And we got a lot of uh, walls that we were hitting. The other question that we wanted to ask for was, can we use immunotherapy as a new type of treatment which would give me a better life expectancy where at the moment lung cancer at stage 3b you have a five percent chance of survival and immunotherapy pushed it up to 15 percent so we took that funds and we went to UCT Private. I'd just like to say thank you very much to Dr. To Professor Duda and Dr. Greg Simons, who are pulmonologists, and they agreed to meet with me. And they did another biopsy. So that money that you put towards my treatment was used for the private care. Now, thank God for that, because out of that findings, out of that biopsy that came out, it was revealed that I don't, in fact, have stage 3b lung cancer i have what is known as colon cancer stage 2 which moved up via a blood clot between my lung and my heart so it is there in that region but it's not lung cancer what does this mean it's so simple this means that we've gone from inoperable incurable to treatable and operable hopefully in five months time so i've started chemotherapy with uh, the iv going into my vein it was a six hour um, chemotherapy that i had to start at tigerberg so the results we got obviously from the private guys we sent back to tigerberg hospital they agreed that they misdiagnosed me and agreed to use the treatment that was needed to get me back on the road to health. I'm on Zalota, which is a pill form, which is every day I take it. I take about five pills of Zalota on its own twice a day, and it's two weeks on, one week off, and for the next six months I will be doing this. We'll be doing another scan in the next three to four months to see if my tumor is shrinking. The uh, expectancy, life expectancy of people with colon cancer went from 5% to 90%. So, and stage two actually makes about a 95% survival rate. So, I don't have any more words to say to, to you that, that donated your hard-earned money to me to help me find out that I'm not going to die. I don't have a death sentence. We've had a terrible time at home. Tristan obviously had needed counseling. I've had to deal with a death sentence and get my head around dying and I know we're all going to die but it was just a death sentence that was given to me quite suddenly and now I have new hope. My, 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 my strength through my family Stacy and, and Tristan and my friends, I've kept that up and I was rewarded with this good news. So I just want to say thank you so much to everybody with your kind messages, your prayers, your prayers worked. Whether or not you believe it, your prayers worked. I was told by my pastor that the prayer worked so that it was downgraded to a different type of cancer that would be a survivable cancer. My question is, what did that doctor do to piss God off so badly? Well, she wasn't really, really nice to me when she told me about my diagnosis. She said, you're going to die soon, get your affairs in order. And I think this is her comeback to her. So I'm not being nasty. You know me. I'm a great guy. I love everybody. But I'm very happy and I'm ecstatic that I believe I have a much bigger chance at seeing my son matriculate and get married and maybe even grandkids. Thank you very much, everybody. I love you. Please hit the like button below. I feel like I should say that. I just feel like a YouTuber now. I'm just kidding. I love you.